All right, Juan, it's uh, Chris here with McCarthy's. Uh, the transport is here to pick up your truck, and actually I was just driving out to uh, to go to a quiet spot to show you how to work everything. So um, real quick, I'll do a walk around, uh, starting on the back corner here. So. Oh yeah, inside the, underneath the hood line there. Yeah. Um, there's some little. Yeah, little dings. Little if you look on the aluminum right here, there's a couple like real little dings. Um. Scratch right here. Uh, no, it just that was sap. That, that, that came off. Okay. Uh, this one. I think that's sap too. Or no, that's wax. Right here is a few scratches. A couple scratches from the uh, the wing window. But uh, the scratch, let me get over to the bed real quick. So here's the bed liner. I think we showed you pictures of that. The only you know damage to the truck at all is on the very top here. You have to stand on top of the truck to see it, but Hopefully you can see that. Anyways, I'm gonna pause it and hop down and show you how to work everything. Okay, so here's how this works. Um, you see the remote here? Uh, if you press and hold the star button, like this, the driver's door will pop. And you can open that up. If you press and hold, I believe it's the unlock button, the passenger side will pop. Let me go around here. Oops, let me try that again. There we go. Um, there is a, I'm gonna try and do this with uh, one hand here. When you pop the hood, if the battery on the remote goes dead, there is a switch right here. So this is when you open the hood, behind the hood hinge, there is a switch that will pop the doors. If you hold this switch on, it will blow the fuse. You have to just click it, just real quick, like this. But if you hold it down, the fuse will blow. Uh, there's a disconnect for the battery for the negative terminal over here. Close this. So, right now, the way the truck is, uh, it's on the frame. So there's zero pounds of air in the airbags. So I'm gonna get inside and uh, show you how to to get that going. So when you first get in the truck and you put the key in the ignition, um, you're gonna hear the pumps come on. Um, it's not gonna do it right now because I just had the truck running. But important that until this gets to like 150 PSI, don't try and start the truck because the pump will be running and you don't wanna try and start it with the pump running initially because it sometimes can blow the fuse. So when you first drive it after a while and there's no air in the tanks, let the tanks fill up and then uh, go from there. This is the remote control that controls the airbags and you can do all four corners uh, independently, but I never do it that way. I do, this does the front, uh, I think this one does the back and you want those meters there so I'll do it like this. You can hear the pump just came on. So you wanna run the front at about you know 60 to 70 pounds, and you want the back at about like 25 to 30. So you can remember uh, 100 total. So you want 70 front, 30 back, and you can you can run a little high, a little low. It's not gonna hurt anything. If you run the back too high, um, 
the drive line can rub but uh for your normal driving and cruising this is going to be your your setup here all right so if you want to drop it down you just uh that just dropped the front that just dropped the back and you can hear the pumps run There you go, now the pump shut off. So from here, uh, if it's cold, pump the, the gas pedal twice, but it's warmed up already, so. Fires right up, this truck runs cherry. All right, so let me set the air for you. go so there's the truck at you know ride height and you could drop that back end quite a bit but uh, you don't want to have it dropped all the way and drive it because the wheels will rub uh, just like any older vehicle without an electric fan uh, you got to watch your water temperature uh, if you let it sit in idle for too long it could obviously uh, overheat a little bit it, that will not happen if you're driving it's just if you're sitting around idling uh, it needs the airflow coming through um, everything works as you can see uh, so anyways if you have any questions just give us a call and I'll, I'll walk you through it but that's uh, that's all the big stuff.